Hello guys, welcome to the movie recap review. Happy watching. My stick. My gosh. The story opens with the introduction of a boy named Hallam. Hallam navigates his days carrying the labels of a quiet kid or a loner, particularly since the passing of his mother. Despite this loss, Hallam still has his father, Julius, who remarried to a woman named Verity soon after. However, this only intensifies Hallam's longing for his mother, with his sister Lucy being his sole link to her. Much of Hallam's time is spent in a treehouse built with his mother, where he diligently journals about his emotions and experiences, storing his diary alongside keepsakes from his time with her. He occasionally ventures to a nearby lake, reminiscent of outings with his mother. Deeply missing her, Hallam finds solace in the seclusion of his treehouse, nestled in a dense forest. Fate intervenes when Hallam unexpectedly spots a couple near his sanctuary. Draped in a makeshift Tarzan attire, Hallam fiercely drove off the unsuspecting couple in a primal display, leaving the young man seething with rage as he departed. Later, during a tense dinner, Hallam's disdain for his stepmother was palpable, his conviction unshaken in the belief that her presence could never replace his mother's. Yet, amidst the familial tension, the evening held a bittersweet note as it marked a farewell to his departing sister, set to embark on a journey the following day. Hallam grappled with sorrow, realizing that soon the only ally he had left would be gone. With a heavy heart, he retreated to his treehouse, finding solace in the silent company of a photograph of his mother, yearning for her eternal presence. As dawn broke, his sister's departure loomed imminent, but Hallam lingered in their rooftop unable to summon the strength to bid Lucy farewell. In a fleeting moment of change of heart, he rushed to say goodbye, but alas, Lucy was already beyond his reach, vanishing into the distance. During lunch, Hallam's father and stepmother, joined by Hallam himself, deliberated on Hallam's future plans. However, Hallam declined, sensing Verity's ulterior motives. Following the meal, Hallam's father invited him for a stroll, prompting a conversation. During their walk, Hallam broached the topic of his mother's suspicious demise, suspecting Verity's involvement due to the sabotaged condition of her boat. Determined to unravel the mystery, Hallam delved into his house's documents while the household slept, but his efforts yielded no results. Disheartened, he retreated to his treehouse. Yet, upon arrival, he hesitated to enter, finding the space occupied by the two couples he had earlier interrupted. Opting to wait until they departed, Hallam eventually found his treehouse ransacked, his mother's photograph defaced. Fortunately, his diary and her keepsakes remained unharmed. The following day, Hallam endeavored to secure the box within a cupboard in his home, inadvertently leaving the key behind as he rushed to answer a call from his sister. In his absence, Verity stumbled upon the key and seized the opportunity to open the box. Upon perusing Hallam's diary, she encountered intriguing revelations, prompting her to surreptitiously make copies of certain pages that seemed to contradict Hallam's interactions with her. Subsequently, Verity confronted Hallam in his treehouse, seeking permission to ascend, which he adamantly denied. Undeterred, Verity ascended regardless. There she reads passages within Hallam's diary that not only admired her beauty, but also hinted at his desires for her. Recognizing Hallam's inner conflict, Verity offered counsel on overcoming the grief of his mother's passing. However, when Hallam accused Verity of involvement in his mother's demise, a baseless claim, Verity chuckled in response. This reaction incensed Hallam to the point of nearly harming Verity. In her precarious position, Verity teased Hallam, exacerbating his frustration. What occurred next seems to be unfolding in your mind already. Verity, mindful of recent events, encouraged Hallam to swiftly forge ahead with his life in the city independently. Eventually, enlightened by his stepmother, Hallam acquiesced to the idea of relocating. Yet, lacking a clear purpose, he aimlessly roamed the city until seeking refuge in a generator room, awakening amidst a swarm of rats. To his genuine surprise, he sees a woman bearing an uncanny resemblance to his mother. Intrigued, he trailed her until they arrived at her workplace, a lavish hotel where she served in human resources. Hallam's persistent gaze eventually caught her attention, prompting him, in a spontaneous moment, to express his interest in employment. The woman, acknowledging his initiative, promptly furnished him with her business card for job application. However, Hallam lingered, continuing to fixate on her. Touched by his demeanor, the woman extended an offer of sympathy, promptly hiring Hallam as a kitchen assistant. After hours, he persistently trailed the woman, discovering her name to be Cat. Hallam's following became habitual, a routine he couldn't break. Then, one day, noticing her absence from her apartment, he impulsively trespassed. 
There he realized he could also surveil her from afar, particularly from the rooftop of the hotel where he toiled. The following day, amidst his duties, Hallam began ascending to the hotel's summit. Yet even this vantage point failed to sate his curiosity. He continued visiting her apartment, peering down from above. One fateful night, a disquieting feeling gripped him as he witnessed Tat romantically engaging with a married man, her superior at work. It transpired that Cat, employed in human resources, harbored a clandestine occupation as a call girl. Disheartened, Hallam endeavored to banish thoughts of the woman, turning his focus back to pondering his mother. Hallam made his way to the police station, lodging a report accusing his stepmother of causing his biological mother's demise by tampering with the boat she was aboard. Following this, he resumed his duties at work, where he clandestinely ascended to the rooftop to spy on Cat. Unbeknownst to him, his boss caught him in the act, resulting in a stern reprimand and a threat of reporting him. However, Hallam swiftly turned the tables by exposing his boss's affair with Cat, revealing that the person seen with her was indeed his superior. Consequently, Hallam was promptly terminated from his position, returning home with a stoic expression. Nevertheless, that evening, the boss encountered Hallam enjoying time with his wife and child, prompting Hallam to once again assert his leverage, ultimately securing his reinstatement in his former role, albeit begrudgingly on the part of his boss. Undeterred, Hallam diligently applied himself to his work, impressing Cat with his dedication. His efforts were rewarded when he eventually earned a promotion, assuming a prominent role in the front office. Impressed by Hallam's consistent progress, Kat found herself drawn to him and decided to pursue a romantic relationship. She took the first step by congratulating him and celebrating his birthday. However, fortune favored Hallam when his friends departed early, leaving him alone with Kat. Seizing the opportunity, Kat invited Hallam to her apartment with romantic intentions, but Hallam, being naive, only desired to cuddle and declined her advances. Following this misunderstanding, Cat apologized to Hallam for any discomfort caused. Nevertheless, Hallam eventually summoned the courage to express his feelings to Cat. Subsequently, fueled by newfound motivation stemming from both his professional and personal life, Hallam redoubled his efforts at work. The pair's bond strengthened, and they continued to be together. While Hallam was engrossed in his work, he received a call from a friend informing him that his parents had arrived at the workplace. Julius, his father, expressed a desire to sell their family home due to an enticing project. However, upon delving deeper, Hallam discovered that Julius's motivation to sell the house stemmed from being ensnared in debt. This revelation left Hallam disillusioned, as the house held sentimental value as his mother's legacy. Suspicions began to brew within him, speculating that his father's financial troubles might be linked to Verity's actions. Fueled by anger and a desire for justice, Hallam contemplated drastic measures, even considering kidnapping and drowning Verity in a lake. Yet a moment of clarity struck him, reminding him of the legal consequences and the dread of facing the death penalty. Ultimately, he opted against taking Verity's life. Soon after, Julius approached Hallam, finally disclosing the true sequence of events leading to his mother's demise, revealing that Verity had no involvement whatsoever. Having come to terms with his mother's death, Hallam made his way back to the city, determined to embark on a committed relationship with Cat. However, his hopes were dashed when he discovered that Cat had moved on with someone else, and he found himself shut out from her life. The film concluded with Cat acknowledging that their paths were not meant to intertwine permanently, citing Hallam's youthfulness and the ongoing journey he had yet to traverse. Despite his disappointment, a faint smile graced Hallam's lips as he accepted the reality of the situation and the possibilities that lay ahead. And that's the end of the story. I hope you liked it. Comment down below what movies do you like us to recap next. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.